Hey everyone, welcome back to Super Platinum Achievement. I'm Mitch. I'm Austin. And today we're going to talk about um, a recent interview that happened with Saber Interactive's CEO, Matthew Karch. So Saber Interactive is the uh, port specialist uh, company that worked on um, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt port to the Nintendo Switch. A lot of people said that uh, The Witcher 3 would never be able to run on the Nintendo Switch with its limited power capabilities, and Saber Interactive went out and proved them wrong. And have since uh, upgraded the graphics even more with yeah. various options in the game now, and are continually to upgrade the game as we speak. So yeah, um, they're kind of throwing everyone's, you know, giving everyone their lunch, I guess, at this point. Yeah, they're throwing that out the window. Um, you know, obviously it doesn't run um, quite as uh, high performance as it does on other consoles. We did talk about this in another video. Um, but for um, a handheld uh, that, it, you know, the Switch really is, it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, the game runs fairly smoothly. You really can't tell that much of a difference between the versions unless you're really looking for it. Um, when you're actually enjoying and playing the game, there's not a huge difference. Yeah, you don't want to be like, mm, yeah, this game's not as good looking. Mm, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. When you're sitting on the toilet playing The Witcher, stop complaining, okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, the company, like, they love working on The Witcher as a port, and they're actually surprised more companies are not doing this, uh, supporting their games to Switch and stuff. So this uh, Saber Interactive is currently working on a port for World War Z. Yeah. There's actually a recent release on, uh, was it consoles and stuff, everything? Yes, I, okay. I, I, I know. I know my friends got into it on PC, yeah. so I wasn't fully aware of where it was all released at. But yeah, they're working on a part for that, which is apparently is a trickier deal than The Witcher. Yeah, there's something there. They didn't say exactly what they just did well, say. Could, it was could more... be the multiplayer aspect and stuff, because yeah. you know Nintendo True. really knows what they're doing with multiplayer. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll, time will tell. But yeah, they're surprised that more ports are not being made for the Switch. I know we've seen a few, but yeah, um, and. You know, he went out to say that um, you'll be surprised to see what other games are coming. I mean, people were obviously surprised that The Witcher 3 made it, even though there were rumors for a good year before it actually came out. That's shocking. He said, there's going to be some other big title games that are coming to the Switch that people might not think would, would run. And obviously World War Z, I think people would tag as one that they didn't think was possible to run yeah. as well. Yeah, so. Uh, so we're going to talk about some of the games that we would love to yeah. see come to the Nintendo it's Switch. It's kind of got us thinking, so what, what we'd like to see ported over. Like, new game, older game, so I don't know, what, what's your ideal port? Yeah, that's that's really tough. Um, one that I think would be easy to bring over, and I don't know why it hasn't happened, is Madden. Um, I mean, EA's already brought the FIFA franchise over, which runs, you know, great. Yeah. And I think Madden is the perfect game for the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I guess I never thought about that. But it I makes mean, sense that there's Madden Mobile on phones and yeah. stuff, so there's really no excuse why it can't be on the Switch. Yeah, it's a great... I mean, say you're waiting in the airport, and you've got, you know, a 45-minute layover what perfect way to spend the time than, you know, playing a, a match on Madden, a full-length game you yeah. could even do. And I, I really don't understand why Madden hasn't come. I don't see there being really hardware limitations there um, for Madden. Um, that's that's one I'd, I've always wanted to see come over, and I don't know why EA hasn't done it yet. Yeah. I'd like to see more, more like, big... Big studios do this. And what pops in my head is Assassin's Creed. Mm. I think Assassin's Creed would do well... On the Switch, you gotta keep in mind. I'm back in you know other handheld days. The PlayStation Vita and stuff had Assassin's Creeds on there. I believe it was what, Liberation. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and it was actually a good game. I've since played the, that port to a console. So I'd like to see maybe Ubisoft go back, maybe do the Ezio Collection on there, or even you know Matthew Karch was saying that we'd be surprised what games we're seeing. Maybe a Assassin's Creed Valhalla will show up on the Switch. Yeah, or could that mean they're gonna do you know we don't have Origins. There was a online playable version um, mm -hmm. where it was streamed, basically, of Assassin's Creed Odyssey yeah. for the Nintendo Switch. I believe that was Japan only, though. Uh, it didn't. It was not available here. And, of course, they've gone back and done the um, uh, Assassin's Creed 3 and Liberation that's been available on yeah. the collection there, so the, I'd like the Rogue to see, Collection. I'd like to see more come yeah. out of that series, especially. Yeah, I'd and, love to be able to play Origins and a full version um, of Odyssey, and I... I think they could do it. If The Witcher 3 could do it, I, they could do yeah. it. This and then maybe cool. maybe the new game in the franchise. I mean, we never yeah. know. So They said it's not going to be as big as Odyssey, so it should be easier to work with. Yeah. 
Um, another one that I was surprised wasn't announced to be coming out on the Switch, and we still don't know. I think they will. I would be shocked if they don't eventually announce it, is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 Plus 2. Yeah. Um, that's another one. Great. I mean, you can see the commercial in your head of guys skateboarding and it cuts to people sitting on the half pipe in the background and they're playing Tony Hawk and then Tony Hawk shows up or something like that. I mean, what a great opportunity to be on this platform and they haven't they haven't announced it. So hear me out. It's it's going to get a switch, but it's going to have a skateboard holder so you can skateboard and switch. I need to see, <laughs> see that picture. I'm visualizing <laughs> something, and then he'll do a trick called the kick switch. See? The kick switch. Got it. Mm, mm. I like it. Or, you know, you get the Joy-Cons, and you do, like, the little, like, fingerboards things with the Joy-Cons. <laughs> get a <laughs> fingerboard for the Joy-Con. <laughs> That's how you do your tricks. I think uh, that might be asking a little bit too much of the developer. That is untapped potential for the <laughs> Switch. Uh, let's see it right away. Uh, other than that, like, I think there's, I mean, I'm, we probably can go on and on and on about games I'd like to see. Obviously. But there's so many. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Yeah, I mean, that's, the multiplayer, I don't know, we'll see about that. But I'd like to see, you know, there's so many more games that are, like, all about exploration and, like, you know, stuff like that. I mean, mm -hmm. Skyrim's already on the Switch. So. But, like, you know, a game like that, like, you know, Dragon Age or Mass Effect or, you know, s games of that style where, you know, it's all about open world kind of exploration but narrative and stuff at the same time, I think would lend itself well to the Switch. Kind of like, you know, games similar to The Witcher, so. Yeah, absolutely. And they've already, you know, brought some of the other games back to us, uh, like uh, the Bioshock Collection was, mm -hmm. just yes. came. Um, uh, Borderlands Collection just came. I'd like to see the Dishonored uh, 1 and 2 as oh, well. I, those would be great Favorite games, games of mine, I, actually. I don't see why those wouldn't well, uh, run well on a Switch. Um, seeing what the Switch can do, I think they could make it happen. So, yeah, I think I'm just more, like, I'm excited to see different games, but I'm, I'm more excited to see developers actually doing Jump games on board. for the Switch. Because yeah. it seems like, you know, according to Matthew Karch, like, there's still a lot of room for that you know, this untapped potential for the Switch for, for ports and whatnot. Yeah. So. And, and not even just ports, but brand new games. Yeah. I hope we see the, like it was, you know, back in the, the good old days where, you know, a, a AAA title would launch on all the systems yeah. at the same time. So. I'd love to see that again because now we're like, is it coming out on Switch? Uh, no, it's just on Xbox and PlayStation, which isn't bad per se, but there are certain games that are great to play on the go that would be yeah, wonderful absolutely. on Switch. So. so tell us what you think. Um, are there any particular games you'd love to see on the Nintendo Switch that you think the Switch could handle? Are there any that you'd say no way would not be able to work on the Switch? What are your thoughts? Um, tell us what you think in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos in the future.